Number 69. Identify the type of crystalline solid, whether it's going to be metallic or a network covalent, ionic, or molecular crystalline solid that's formed by each of the following substances, and then we have HCl. So what uh, solid, what type of crystalline solid will HCl form when it solidifies? Well, I wrote down the four different types of crystalline solids down here for your guy, you know, you guys to memorize for your upcoming quiz or test. These are kind of like little cheat sheet little tricks, but let's just go from left to right just to figure out which one HCl would be. So is it a metallic crystalline solid? Well, the word metal is in the word metallic. So in order to be a metallic crystalline solid, you got to have a metal, right? And you have to have only one metal. But if I look for HCl on the periodic table, right? I look for the elements, hydrogen, even though it's in group one, hydrogen is a met uh, whoa, hydrogen is a metal. Christina, calm down. <laughs> hydrogen is a non-metal, even though it's in group one. And chlorine, group 7A or 17, depending on what your periodic table says, it's also a non-metal. So there are no metals in HCl, so it can't possibly be a metallic crystalline solid. Is it an ionic crystalline solid? Well, Ionic comes from ionic compound. Remember, an ionic compound is a metal plus a nonmetal, or if you start seeing polyatomic ions. But here, I have no metal, and I don't see a polyatomic ion with H and Cl. So it can't possibly be ionic. Is it a molecular crystalline solid? Well, molecular crystalline solid comes from molecules, and molecules are saved for covalent compounds. That's why these are all nonmetals. And I have H, which is a nonmetal. I have Cl, which is a nonmetal. These are all nonmetals. So I think we got the answer. This HCl would be a molecular crystalline solid. Just to kind of go forward and say why it's not a network covalent is because network covalents, you have to only see just a single nonmetal. So like if it was just like carbon by itself, then it would be a network covalent or if you see anything with silicon. But we don't have silicon here, so forget about it. <laughs> oh, can anybody tell what state I'm from? <laughs> forget about it. Anyway. I don't think I have that bad of an accent, but I might be a little biased. But anyway, thank you for tuning in. Let me know if this helped you out. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. My brother and I would thank you from the bottom of, I, of our hearts. We truly do appreciate you all and how much you guys are working so hard. And yeah, proud of you guys. Thank you for being part of the community. And thank you for supporting us throughout this whole YouTube journey. Um, I look forward to helping you with future problems. And I'll talk to you then. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.